Um, and then the most important thing, which is the final thing that I'll share with you, is a declaration uh, from this uh, uh, conference uh, that is aimed at the wider world, at the media, uh, and in particular uh, to the government of Kenya on behalf of this uh, meeting. And I'll uh, hand it over to the official representative uh, after I read it. So I'm now going to read the Nairobi Declaration on Community-Based Adaptation to Climate Change. From April 27 to 30th, 2015, over 400 representatives from governments, civil society, the scientific community, international and national non-governmental organizations and communities gathered in Nairobi, Kenya at the 9th International Conference on Community-Based Adaptation to Climate Change. CBA is a participatory, community-led, environmentally sustainable approach to adaptation that aims to strengthen the resilience of poor and vulnerable communities. At CBA 9, participants discussed methods for measuring the effectiveness of adaptation to climate change, climate variability and change for the poorest and most vulnerable. Based on discussions, lessons learned, and outcomes of this conference, participants of the CBA present in the Nairobi present the Nairobi Declaration, which states the importance of addressing the needs and interests of the poorest and most vulnerable in international agreements on sustainable development, development finance, and climate change. <coughs> climate change has and will continue to have disproportionately negative consequences for the poor and vulnerable. These groups are already adapting and enhancing their resilience to the adverse effects of climate change. It is the responsibility of developed countries to support the adaptation efforts of poor and vulnerable groups. To this end, governments should promote approaches to climate change adaptation that build the capacity of local actors. They should also ensure that vulnerable groups are included in the process of development goals, strategies for implementation, indicators, and evaluative frameworks for adaptation. Consistent with the 2014 Kathmandu Declaration agreed at CBA 8 last year, the CBA com community reiterates the importance of securing additional, adequate, and transparent adaptation financing, especially for community-level adaptation efforts. Global agreements must increase and accelerate finance for adaptation in poor and vulnerable communities, and establish transparent mechanisms for monetary adaptation finance. Governments should prioritize the needs and interests of the poorest and most vulnerable in their national adaptation planning processes and provide clear, timely, and accurate reporting on the extent to which adaptation finances reaches the most vulnerable groups. Finally, world leaders will meet this year to draft agreements on sustainable development goals financing for development and climate change under the UNFCCC. Leaders must ensure that these agreements reflect the needs and interests of the poorest and most vulnerable communities. Local, regional, and national governments should also incorporate the principles of inclusiveness, community leadership, and environmental sustainability into all of their plans for adaptation and development.